All right, everybody, welcome back to a brand new university review. Today, we're taking a look at University of Birmingham. So for a bit of context, right, I used to have this series on my main account, Student Vlogs, where I go around every UK university and review them. I'd go to the campus, I'd interview people about the uni and so on. However, there is a bit of content that I never got to make onto my main channel because I've since moved away from university content, but I've had a few interviews with friends about the University of Birmingham that I wanted to share and put into a university review video. So today we're going to take a brief look at the University of Birmingham. If you want to see that whole playlist where I've got 10 to 20 universities being fully reviewed, uh, that'll be linked above. And Right, taking a look at it, Birmingham is obviously one of the top universities in the UK, one of the most busiest cities. The website, like it looks pretty nice, you know, they've got a nice little sunset, they know that people like the sunset, that's definitely edited in there a tiny bit, coming around the wall. This clock right here on the right hand side, I believe it's called Old Joe or something Joe, Big Joe, um, and that is what everybody posts on the gram who goes to Birmingham when there's a sunset around there. A, a very cool homepage talking about the right stuff, AI, AI is trending man, that's, that's what they're doing, they're talking about a trending topic, which is very, very smart, again, chat GPT is right there. So they've got a lot of cool stuff happening and the website does a really cool job. Now, one very interesting thing I thought that not many other universities have is on the website you can select the Dubai version. So there's an actual University of Birmingham in Dubai, which I had no clue about, but that could possibly uh, post a good study abroad opportunity for sure if you went to Birmingham, which is pretty cool, but uh, that's not guaranteed. That's just me speculating. Now as well, this seems like it's a developing side of Birmingham, but, you know, fair play to him, it's popping off. But what about the campus, right? So I've, I've pulled up a campus tour. Um, this is by University of Birmingham themselves. It's decent views two years ago, and we're just going to quickly run through a few key standout moments. Here's what I was saying about the... Um, the nice big tower that they have that everybody loves. Lovely greenery behind there. Russell Group Uni, which means they're research-led. Um, and again, they rank decently in the in the university league tables. They're not super close to the top, but I think they're they're a decent uh, way up the the rankings. Lots of green space, very nice. Um, Old Joe, that's the one I was talking about. I don't know why this is so famous, but it definitely is. Oh, there it is tallest freestanding clock tower in Europe. Very much Assassin's Creed vibes, um, which there's nothing wrong with that at all. Now, the Great Hall, this is, oh, Shakespeare, a lot of history here. Um, is this the exa this way to your exams, eh? Yeah, I don't know what it is at uni, but whenever you're doing your exams, you do them in your, like, your, your biggest and most prestigious buildings on, on campus, it feels like. At York, I did mine in the, in the big building by the lake. Here, they're doing them in the Great Hall, very nicely set up there. Uh, and so on. You got the student hub, but I mean, you rarely go in there. To be honest, you got a music building if you're into that. Nice little stage. Yep, green heart. We just want to see more of the campus. Um, yeah, the green heart is actually a very, very cool little area because you're gonna play sports there. You can meet up with friends there, have drinks. They got markets. So from my experience and what I like, this is a really big selling point in this green hub. Um, Six libraries, I mean the university is massive, so there's so many students there that they're going to have to have a lot of different um, facilities and places to be. Again, nice astroturfs, that's always what you'd expect, but it is quite good that they, they're showing that here. Um, the labs, learning center. Yeah, so overall when I look at the campus, I go, do you know what? Seems pretty nice. They're, they're doing stuff the, the right way. Uh, it seems like the, the, the university is slightly integrated into the city. It's not completely separated. So if you like that, that's a huge plus. However, I had a friend that went to Birmingham and I, I called Owen and he was actually on my podcast a while back, but I sat him down and I said, Owen, play some snooker and I want you to review uh, very quickly the University of Birmingham from your own experience. And this is exactly what he said. So I'm going to roll the clip with my best friend Owen about University of Birmingham right now. So let's roll that. All right, Owen, you're the Birmingham man. I am so indeed. Wanted, we're doing a review of Birmingham today, right? Yep. And we wanted to ask you a few questions. What did you study at Birmingham? I did English and History joint honours. English and History. And how was English and History? Was it a good a good degree to be doing? Was the teaching good? What was it, yeah, what was the teaching like? Overall, so I'd say first things first about joint honours degrees is I think it's like doing a degree and a half. It's a lot more work, but if you like the subjects, then do it. English and history, obviously, 
essays, that's a lot of worse people's nightmares. At Birmingham specifically, well, there is a lot of independent work. You don't get loads of help, but you can get enough. You know, you just have to ask for it sort of thing. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'd say definitely like it's a good Russell group for that. Nice facilities, nice Big campus. libraries, big campus. Um, no, my personal God. tutor is a world leading academic in Shakespeare. Sick. And what about the nightlife at Birmingham? Do you know what? I'm going to have to put a big fat asterisk there because basically what's happened is it's probably the hottest club for freshers, which was Players Bar, Tuesday's night. Yeah. Got shut down. Just shut down. COVID. COVID and stuff, yada, yada, yada. So I don't really know what Broad Street's saying these days, but the main place you go to to party is Broad Street. Yeah. Um, that's kind of your typical club night. I'd say if you're a fresher, avoid them on the weekend because that's when like the local rabble rousers come out and it's it's a bit more dodgy. Just stick to student nights, yeah. prism, things like that. Rosie's is still where it's at. Rosie's is good for a night out. It's so cheap. It's, good, it's good nightlife and cheap nightlife. Yep. Um, also raving. There's a place called Digbeth where if you like if you like your drum and bass, your proper techno and stuff. Yeah. You go there. They have good raves. It's a bit more pricey, but you pay for what you get. But what was the accommodation like in first year? How's it? Um, so the main place people live is a place called the Vale, which is like 15 minute walk from the uni is in a place called Edgebaston which isn't too far. I didn't live there however I visited there a few times, I had friends there and stuff. I yeah. lived in um I lived in one that was called Liberty Park. It's now a United Students one. That like, overall good enough like uh, I don't know how it varies. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, I don't know how it is. It's not terrible, it's not you know Yeah you no know, I feel that I feel that. You know? Plenty of societies and clubs oh, to join if you need like to. Hundreds, hundreds. You have every, obviously the usual sort of, you know, different country societies that have like bad film society, anime yeah. society, wine society, like whatever sort of soccer, if anything. And if you had to rate Birmingham overall out of 10, what are you going to give it? I'd give it an 8, I'd say. An 8. That's it. I like that because that's a fair rating. We get some people that are like, oh, yeah, it's a 10, it's a 10. No, we need honest reviews, we need an honest rating. So check out Owen's Instagram down below. So good old Owen giving you a tiny bit of feedback from his experience at Birmingham Uni. Now I've also pulled up the university league tables and you can see that Birmingham is ranked number 14 for 2023. It's up five places. Uh, it's climbing. It's not too far behind the likes of Southampton, which has made a, in my opinion, a very big surprise jump there up to 13th. I didn't realise how highly rated and ranked Southampton was. Now, if you look at the top of the table, there's nothing you wouldn't expect with the likes of Durham, St Andrews, Cambridge, Oxford and LSC being very near the top. Um, but yeah, it's good to see that your university, if you, for example, wanted to go to Birmingham, it's good to see it up there. Student satisfaction, the surveys are always biased, hence why the top two unis don't take them. However, Birmingham is the lowest out of pretty much, uh, or join lowest for Newcastle, it seems, out of a lot of the universities, which isn't ideal but you can't always trust those surveys uh, they've got very good um, research quality decent entry standards again like if you're looking at Edinburgh it's ranked 12th but 91% entry standards you know it's tough that's a bit high but yeah Birmingham reasonable to get into uh, reasonable graduate prospects and very good research quality slightly lower uh, student satisfaction but you can't be good at everything as they say uh, where's York where I went to yeah so um yeah, entry standards have fallen quite a bit, you know. That's not bad at all, though. I mean, to get more people in there, why not? Uh, good research quality again. Decent graduate prospects again. And so on. So, you know, I feel like anywhere between 10 and 25 is, you know, a very good university. And anywhere above is insanely good. And below is still great, but you're not, pushing, you're not, you're not like in the top, top uh, ranked unis. But you're still at a great uni. So, as well... I thought I could quickly show you my university review series that I've done before. Just type in student vlogs or life of Dylan, go on playlist and you'll see Sheffield, York, Cambridge, Leeds, uh, LSC, St Mary's, Imperial. And there's also, uh, yeah, what's the other one I just did? I did another one very, re very recently as well. Um, Imperial, not Imperial. UCL, University College London, and now Birmingham. So I hope that you found this useful. Let me know where you're thinking of going to university because this used to be my whole field. I used to make all university content, tier lists, reviews, day in the lives, vlogs. So if you are about to study, definitely go check out my channel. It's now Life with Dylan because, you know, when you get older, you can't be student vlogs anymore. But I used to be student vlogs. And you'll see if we scroll back all the way here, this is what I'm saying. I was a... Uh, you know, real-time study of me for eight hours non-stop. That was one of the craziest things I did. How much I spent at uni, success at uni, like all the university uh, advice you could ever need and recommendations and content is right here. So thank you for watching. Take care, leave a like and subscribe.